Hello and welcome to this special webcast that we're recording on the evening of Tuesday the 8th of November. Uh, I just want to inform you uh, as a member of the organisation that the Executive Council has unanimously decided to commence a national ballot of all members seeking a mandate for industrial action up to and including the withdrawal of labour in pursuance of, of two key issues. One, special recruitment and retention initiatives required to make sure that your wards, your community care areas are properly staffed. You've spoken very loudly in the last weeks at national regional meetings where you've told us your unsafe uh, 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 staffing levels, inadequate staffing levels, uh, lack of respect from employers, all those various things. And the only thing we can do to respond to that is collective national action, which is either going to deliver increased numbers of nurses and midwives through proper recruitment and retention initiatives or contract the service, close beds so that your staffing levels match the demand of service. You cannot continue to excessively work, carry excessive workloads, work extra hours unpaid. All of those things are going to have to be addressed as part of this campaign. In tandem with that, we are going to, together with other public service unions, uh, collectively demand early engagement with government about earlier restoration of the pay cuts that were imposed in 2009 and 2011. We know members want earlier restoration and we're going to be clearly part of the process seeking the government to come forward much quicker, much swifter and much more substantially uh, with the pay that was cut. So what we now do is beginning, we have to do some preparatory work, but on, from the 24th of November, uh, workplace meetings will start uh, with balloting in all workplaces across the country. That will continue, timetables and, and, and notices of when and where will be sent out. That will end on the 15th of December, when the council will meet to consider the results of the ballot and then to determine the timetable for the rollout of any campaign of industrial action if that is uh, uh, forthcoming following the, the mandate from members. So you have spoken, the Executive Council and ourselves have heard your, 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 your plea, we are going to act, we're going to act collectively in your interest and the interest of patients because without nurses and midwives in adequate numbers we can't have safe care and you cannot be expected to continue excessive workloads, working extra hours unpaid, not having career development opportunities. We need recruitment and retention initiatives, we need them now and this campaign is going to secure that. So come along to the meetings, ballot and then follow the directions to be given by the Executive Council after the 15th of December. Thank you.